Hello and welcome back to Fort Triumph with me, Barden. Okay, so we're still on version 0.7.8.1. We are going to uh, make our way down towards these guys. So 18 enemies, that's a lot. We still don't know where we stand with, with um, that faction here. It's weird actually, um, you know, that we haven't met any more, more factions. Because like, they seem to be herring around and we've, we've obviously met the skeletons and we've met the, the spiders, but we haven't met, like there was a paladin one and like the last time I played there was a paladin one. But we haven't met those this time so I don't know whether like it's random every time or whatever but uh, we're gonna come down here and fight these guys so there's 18 of them we're gonna battle did you know the ranger's grappling hook ability allows you to pull objects or enemies yes I do and did you know that um, when you pull them you could stun yourself because you're pulling one towards you I right, see so all of these guys are going to be melee which is probably gonna be pretty good for us so let's start by moving you here. Wow. I was wondering when she went forward what the hell she was doing. Now I can see all the other guys are in the way. You're gonna go... Um, yeah, you're gonna go here. And you're gonna brace. You're gonna brace where you are. Okay. Ruby's gonna go behind here. And she's gonna watch. Then Velvet is going to move back to here. And she's going to watch. So again, the idea is to draw enemies towards us and not have them spread out too much. Okay. First guy down. God, I, I nearly made... Let me set something soup there. Well... I guess I'm going to say it and jinx myself anyway, but um, the thought that entered my head was that I'm actually getting pretty okay at the game. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay at the game. Now, I didn't say I'm a great player, but I think I'm getting okay at the game. I'm getting better at least. But stuff like this will be um, a fair out test for us, I think. So those guys, that's an interesting uh, situation there. Now these do, I think, around about six damage each. I could be wrong. But I think it would make sense on the hardest le uh, hardest difficulty. So they did so they did three and it was reduced to two? Okay. So maybe they do three to five or something, let's see. Yeah, they do 3 to 5. Okay. So 3 to 5 isn't that bad, but if you take a lot of them, because if she takes 3 more, uh, well, 4 hits would kill her. 3 would kill her. And uh, 3 could kill her. 2 could kill her. Or I should say could for each, each of the people. Okay. Now, we need to... See, the problem is they... They took up defensive positions, so they're a bit harder to pin down than I'd like. Let's see what we can do with you. So your vortex would get one there. That's not really good, is it? Wouldn't get anyone there. Wouldn't get anyone there. Well, it would get one, but uh, it's something that we're going to deal with anyway. So I think she might need to move up, but if she moves up, then it means we have to make the area safe. So how are we going to do that is the question. So there are just two guys, so keep the three over and stun both of them would be nice. But then you open yourself up to three guys here. If we look at, um, say, Caitlyn, 
So she can get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys in one turn, which means that eight guys can get to her in the same turn as well. So we need to be hitting multiple guys if we can. So hitting you, you've only got wow, you've only got one left. So you could be killed. Set the tree on fire. You go on fire, you're dead. Then okay, so that's a potential. Let's see, does her fireball actually reach here? No, probably not. No, it's just short, look. Okay. Um, we won't worry about you right now. Hmm. So kicking this tree over onto them to get rid of two. Kicking this one into that one. But if we kick that one, it dies. So maybe that's not a good idea. Why do you have to only have... Why can't you have one HP and you have seven? Because then we can kick you into you and then taking care of four four wouldn't be a bad thing with three more people to act okay so we need to we need to do something so she's going to go here so she's a bit further back and she's a little bit safer She's then going to do this. Okay, so that one's dead and it's out of the equation. Oh, but we stunned her. How did, how did we stun her? She wasn't even on. How did that happen? I'm very confused about that. Does that mean that she can't, she shouldn't be able to, oh she can, but she shouldn't have been able to use that, that health. Oh, of course she can because it just means that she can't attack. I keep forgetting it's the, it's the new version, or what I'd call the new version of Stunned. So she's going to move back to, oh she's only got one more left though. If she braces, She's going to have damage that she takes, which means that potentially if they all hit for five, she'd take three. So she'd have to be hit by five people to, to die. Okay, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, still eight more of them to come. So then that means that we need to take out um, four of them, but I don't think we can take out four. But I think she does need to brace, so let's see that. Okay, so that's done. Now, if you could ice arrow someone, 23, 26, before can't reach them. No good there. 26 there. Okay. So ice arrow really isn't. The, it'd be nice actually to if when you overwatched, if you could overwatch with an ice arrow to slow someone down. But I guess that that'd be that probably be difficult to implement. Okay, so we've got three there, and then we've got a bunch there. So if Abigail went there and kicked that tree over, we take two out. She then possibly attracts more than she can handle over to her though. 
that's the problem is that there's just so many of them and they're not they weren't close enough for vortex to be any use to us okay so what does ruby do then If Ruby sets the tree on fire, we can kill that one. So I think, let's try that. Let's set the tree on fire. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it is. I don't see the little burning thing beside you. Or beside you, but hopefully it it does actually kick in before you get to take your turn because otherwise that one's still alive right now velvet what can velvet do velvet doesn't do enough damage to kill anyone outright which is a bit of a problem Velva can't make it rain because then we put the fire out. She's, I'm hoping she doesn't need to go for that one because it's already um, hopefully handled. So what does she do? Okay, we're gonna try actually wait for a second. If she goes if she moves here. Where is it? Here. She has a better angle on those guys. Now 30%, 82. Okay, so we want to slow this guy down. Okay, so now he can't, he can't get to anyone to attack. This guy can get to Velvet. This guy may be able to get to Velvet. Okay. So now, what we do now is, I think we actually frighten yeah, we're going to end with Frighten. So, these guys will move away on the turn, but I hope that he's still get, on, get set on fire. But the problem is they move away from her. So they could they could move in such a way that uh, they're still close enough to attack her. But I'm hoping that that's not the case. So, let's use Frighten. First time in a long time I've used this. Yeah, so he's moved away. And this is why I've, I've taken on the strategy of grouping my guys close together. Is because when she frightens, it generally means that they, they do actually move away from the group, not just away from her. Okay. Now they get to move. Yeah, so I think that was the best play. So most of them will go back into the positions that they're in, but it means that we now have a full turn. He's gone beside the fire again. Surely the fire is going to spread onto him, no? Two there. And which of you has one health? Is it you? And you're going to die to the fire? And you can only move up there, that's fine. So Frighten has basically just bought us a turn. It hasn't done anything more than that, but you know, that turn could be um, very important for us. 
Right. Let's turn. So maybe I see that there are a group of them around here. That's the guy that has one health. Okay. So they're potential vortex victims. Could kick your tree over on top of you. Okay. Then so how many of them is there all together? Yeah, that guy's that guy is on fire. So he's gonna die to go one health. So other than him there are six guys. So maybe Vortex would be better somewhere back here. Maybe those two into the burning tree would be a decent call. Then we have to deal with this side. Okay. Then you have to be dealt with as well. Let's see what are your chances. 31% not good. The problem with um, the hook ability is that it's the same it's the same um, chance to hit uh, as a normal shot but the fact that you want to pull something towards you means that invariably the direction you want to pull them they're going to be standing behind cover which makes it you know it makes it less useful it's less useful than the whirlwind because the whirlwind you can push the object onto them and then you know you have a much better chance of hitting the object a much better chance of stunning but the hook should be this pretty much the same ability just working in the other way of someone standing behind something but the chances to hit are so low that it's hard to justify using it let's see these three over here are the guys that maybe you have to worry about so right let's commit to what we're going to do so that means that Taldana is going to move up as far as here which is pretty much as far as you can go without um, getting um, stopped from using her, her abilities okay. so that would pull so that would just guarantee that that guy dies which you would be adverse to do that okay Right, so that's two guys stunned. We now have this guy. We got um, these guys over here. So Abigail is going to move here. Yeah, that guy's stunned. Okay, Abigail's going to move here. Oh, sorry, here. I'm going to turn the camera a little. Gonna keep the tree over on you and you're done. Okay. So you're stunned and you're not a problem. Then Caitlin is gonna go here. I'm just gonna do the same to you. Okay. So then that just leaves two over there. So that guy could be um let's see, yeah. Let's go here with you. You should get a flank on this guy then. And you can shoot him with the ice arrow. Then he's got um, reduced movement. Right. Now, then that leaves you. And you could maybe just pick this guy off. So 64% chance. We've got um, 24 on him. 70 on him, which you're only going to do 2 to 3 damage because 
Because of what? We normally do two to five. Sixty-four percent down chance to kill him, so let's just take the chance. Should have actually looked tells it in the calculations why. But I'm not sure now it, it tells you the chances to hit, but I'm not sure why it tells you why someone's damage has been reduced. Oh god, he set he set the place on fire now. This could end badly. Okay, he's just staying where he is. It's not a problem, we can go get you. Okay, and you're behind the tree, so you're not a problem. And you can't attack her. Okay. Right, so there are now five left. Two of them are on fire. You got one health, so someone can kill you. Basically, anyone can kill you. So, Velvet, can you do the honors? 31% chance, okay. So, let's move Velvet to here. And make it pretty much a guaranteed kill. There we go. Dead for you. Okay. Now, you have 3 HP, so she can probably kill you if she needs to. You can be kicked in that direction of stone, but you can just be killed outright. Then it leaves um, you and you. You have 5 HP. She does 6 to 8 damage. Okay, so she's going to come here. Then we're going to turn the camera and she's going to execute you. No other word for it. Nice. We'll be the executioner, eh? I'd like you to go to here. And you're going to get a 100% chance to hit this one. And you're going to execute as well. Oh, 97. Oh, and you missed the 97% chance. Really? <laughs> really? You just missed the 97% chance. Okay, well, I guess you're taking some damage. Right, you're dead. And then... You're dead. But we missed ninety-seven percent. Well, there is a three percent chance to miss. So he's going to hit her. Okay. Luckily, he's not strong enough to kill her. Because if that had been a stronger enemy, we would have been absolutely screwed. Now let's use. Actually, let's use. Ah, uh, we wanted to use swap and just swap it to tree. Okay. So she's going to use this. Just to rub it in. Here you go. Burn in hell, arsehole. <laughs> right, onwards. Did you know the difference earns in the crypt cause a variety of effects? Watch out. Yes, I do. Or yes, I did, should I say. This will give us um, this two to party sight. Rumor has it this well can restore sight to the blind. Rumor often exaggerates. Just two to party sight, so we see a little bit more of the map. Okay. There isn't really much more of the map to see. Because there's no more of the map that way. We see as much as we can that way. And we go up, we see as much. And we can't go over to that area there. But we could actually. Can't, no, I don't think we can actually go over there. I think I tried before. So at the moment, this is basically the extent of the map. So um, we're going to come and attack. 
Oh, that's near um, the Stormhand Academy. Yeah. Let's come and uh, attack these guys. Let's battle. So this is a different kind of um, challenge because the other guys kind of spread out and played cautiously and didn't do all that much damage. Whereas these guys will group together and they will do a lot of damage. So let's start by putting her back here and I'll watch. Okay. Then you're gonna brace. And you're gonna brace. She's gonna move back here and I'll watch. And then Velvet is going to go watch from where she is. Okay. Okay. One hit, two misses. We broke a rock though. Fair play to us. Coming from that. Oh, he's got a bunch of buddies with him. Okay, you're going on that side. You have to go around your buddies, so you kind of get to this tree. Yeah. You're. Oh, my. there's all the rest of them. Okay, so they're, they're not a turn away. So it's basically the five around here you have to worry about to start with. And then after that, then it gets crazy. It's like drums. <laughs> okay, so they are splitting up around the lake. Okay, this is going to be tough. Vortex here and there could get two of them. But I think if we moved her a little bit further, she could actually get three. So we're gonna hold off on that for a second. Okay, Ruby. Let's see. That one could almost be killed. Right, so let's start by moving Taldana just up to this rock. Okay. Then let's see her vortex. It does reach you, but then we can't get the other guy. That's a problem. And I don't really want to put someone. I don't really want to put someone too far away from the group to deal with um, a rogue guy, so do we do that or do we do that? Let's do it like that. Then, okay, I'm again just gonna go there. I'm just trust in the fact that they have to go around those guys. Yeah, so she's gonna go here. She's then gonna be kicking you there. Okay, now Ruby is going to make it rain. Okay. Caitlin is going to move here. So, oh, that's a tree. Okay. Ooh. Wait, that's a lot um, harder than I thought. Because the tree will only hit the first one. So she has to go here. 
and she has to kick you that way. Okay, so those two are stunned. Now, yeah, Velvet can't do enough damage to kill you. Doesn't matter about you. So, let's shoot this one. Okay, good. Then Abigail is going to kick you. Okay. Right, so these guys are going to all kind of form up. Right, so I think that that one is going to be able to get to Caitlyn. Okay, so there, form up like that. Okay. There's a space there, okay. So that's cluster at least. Right, you're there. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Two lines of guys. Where are you gonna go? Okay, if that tree wasn't there, that'd be great. One, two, three. But the tree is there. Here's three in a row. It's good. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Well, let's start by blinking her to here. Okay. Then let's whirlwind you. Okay, one dead and two stunned. Nice. Now let's move you to here. Okay, and then you're going to kick. So we're hoping that um, there's going to be some kind of rebound off the tree and either this one or this one is going to get stunned after this guy gets kicked. So this guy and this guy will get stunned. And then we're hoping for, after interacting with the tree, either that one or that one will get stunned as well. So let's see what happens. Oh, okay. But I wasn't even expecting to hit that guy. Right, so those two could now potentially be a problem. Because they do do a lot of damage, don't they? Yes, yeah, seven to ten. Okay. Right. Um, Velvet is going to go. She's gonna move and then uh, hit one of those into the other, so that's not a problem. So Velvet is gonna go here. Okay. And we just want to check her hook before we use it. So that's gonna pull you 100% here, then. Gonna... Okay, good. Caitlin is gonna go here. And we're gonna get rid of one of them. So let's get rid of the guy behind you. Good. Velva can now hook you. Oh. Oh shit, that wasn't a hook. 
Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. I, I pressed that way too soon. Okay. So those two are going to be free. Right, so it means that now Ruby has to clean up my mess. And she's going to have to hook you. Right, she is grappling hooking this time. Yeah, two of them will get attacks, and probably both of them will attack Abigail. As long as... Yeah, there's one attack on Abigail. For ten. We could actually lose Abigail. If the other guy can get to her, I think he can do enough damage. He should actually kill her. Oh, lucky, lucky. Excellent. And they're queued up. So that one square saved our ass. Because Abigail would have died. Because he would have done 7 to 10. So he would have done a minimum of 7. And she would have died. Okay. Now. Now they are a little more manageable. But not by much. So those three can be handled. They're no problem. These three can be handled, not a problem. Send these three here that are a problem. You can be killed. You two can't be. And because you used our hook, it means that what is available to us to deal with you guys isn't very good. Okay. So Abigail, first of all. Move here. Okay, now you're going to have to use one of your potions. Then I want you to kick this guy. And then the back guy is going to go into the lake. Good. Now you're going to go there. And you're gonna kick this chap that way. Okay. Now Ruby's gonna move as far away as she can. Velvet is going to do exactly the same. Mm. Your movement isn't great. So she's actually going to take an extra movement. So she's going to go there. Okay. You have to do this. Now you don't have Whirlwind and you don't have um, Vortex. So you need to... How much does that do? Six to eight, okay. So you need to move here. It should be far enough away. And you need to use this to kill that guy. Please hit. Okay, good. Now, Ruby can use an ice arrow on this guy, which means that he can't get to Abigail, which means that this guy, if he goes for Abigail, can't kill Abigail because he can only do a maximum of 10 damage. It's just 12 health. So, let's do that. Okay, good. Okay, and there's one of them dead. Opportunity. Okay, he went for you, which is fine. And then they're gonna stack up on Abigail. And that one will hit her. She hit for nine, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so two of them are queued up behind the tree. Three of them are queued up there. Okay. So the only one we really have a problem with then is this one here. So let's see, you've got one more turn on Vortex. Okay. So, Abigail's going to start by using a potion. Okay. She's then going to go. She can't go get that other potion, unfortunately. Or can she? Yeah, let's take the potion. Okay. She's then going to use the potion. She can then dash and slash. She can come back onto this rock. And then kick you. And you two are sorted. Okay. Next, Caitlin can move here. She can kick you that way. Oh, we didn't stun this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're stunned, you're not stunned. You have a lot of health. We don't really have much in the way of you know, stuff to stun you with, unfortunately. Let's see, 6 to 8. So, we'd have to average 6 damage. She can't do enough, I don't think, to do that. So, yeah, if she got six, it would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, let's ice arrow you. Okay. She's then going to hit you from here. Okay. Then Ruby's going to back up just a little. And she's gonna shoot you as well. Okay, so you can be killed by anyone next round. Okay, so you hit Abigail, you don't kill her.
Okay, so Abigail is going to pick this up. Okay, yeah. There are other health potions around, so Ruby, you've got two. Okay. Caitlin, go pick that up. Okay, there's another one there, so you go pick that up. It'd actually be a bit hard to see against um, all the dead bodies. So I'm now checking around just in case there are more. Probably kicked a load of them into the lake actually. <laughs> I don't they spawn in the water. But anyhow, let's finish you off. And that's it. Okay. That was a tough fight. And they did spawn um, or drop the potion, but we couldn't get it. Yeah, that was a tough fight. Definitely. 12 of those guys are no joke. Let's go onwards. Did you know lift costs one action point, doesn't end a hero's turn, and can lead to powerful combinations? Right, so I think the next thing then is to go for this fight, but that's going to be next time because we're at a, at a time now. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, please hit that like button, share with a friend or two, or on your favorite social media, and I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right, and check out some other videos here on the left.